This week in the prep profile, we pay a visit to Kenton with a girls basketball team out to a 6-1 and one start thanks to a father-daughter duo as we meet the Millers. In the beginning, it was rough playing for my dad. Um, he definitely treated me harder than the rest of the girls and um, player that I've always looked up to. Her name's Ashley Moore. She had come and after he had yelled at me once, she had kind of scolded him at saying either you have to treat her like you treat us or you have to treat us like you treat her. And he ha hadn't done anything else again. He had to work on his body language and all of that with me. But you know, it definitely got better. And this year, it's amazing. It, everything is working. I've played with the five seniors that basically start since we were in third grade. And it's just that there's just a lot of love in the team and it's just, it's good. She is my daughter. You know, so I could brag a lot about her, but uh, she just, uh, she's a good kid and uh, she cares a lot about her teammates. And I think when you have that, you know, that real care about, it kind of, it's infectious. And the girls, I got a really, really good team when it comes to relationships. You know, the girls really love each other and it, it pays off. They do a lot of things outside, you know, and she's key in that. But as far as X's and O's go and, you know, on the court stuff, Ellie's, Ellie's just huge. We miss her when she's not on the court because, you know, not just that she can put points up, but it's what she does defensively. You know, she plays the top on our, you know, on our defense and she's long. She gets her hands on a lot of balls. And, uh, you know, I think you saw from the game tonight that she's very unselfish. You know, she's going to look for her teammates. Our style, we just sprint, we run, we run down the court. We're just fast. Um, in the past, we've been small. So we play small ball against these bigger teams. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and this year we have a bit, some bigger girls that have really helped us out against some of the other teams we haven't been able to play against before. And I just love, we're always fast. What we've had to work on though is slowing it down on the offensive side. And it's just so much fun. I love my teammates. I love, I love this game. I mean, our style of game is just create chaos. And uh, you know, that's what the girls do. They love that. They love to live in chaos. Uh, sometimes we don't translate real well to the offensive end. Sometimes that's chaos too. But uh, yeah, it's a fun style of game. The girls love to play that, you know, a lot of easy opportunities. And that's what we want. You know, we don't want to just sit in a half court and pass the ball around. You know, we want to get things in that full court. So yeah, it's fun for the girls. FCA is a really big part of my school. I always come up Friday mornings at seven o'clock every morning. And um, actually my team has asked me to lead in prayers. We pray before every single game and actually start something new this game. Tuesday morning before their Hardin County rivalry contest with Upper Soda Valley, Miller found an app that had a devotional on Nehemiah. Build a wall, and I had read one of the scriptures how you have to play, for, you have to fight for your team, your family. You're going to build that wall, and so I just kind of shared that with them, and then I prayed about that, how we have to keep our emotions under control, and all that, and it it worked tonight. 